shit was confusing because he and I have a relationship. Right. And uh, it's so many times, like when somebody had your phone number and your address, and you know they could have called or pulled up, yeah. and you have like so many very, very important mutual acquaintances. And that's kind of what I would have expected from a person I have a real relationship with. Right. A phone call. Like, hey, bro, I got a question. Hey, look, man, don't now one of us need the other one in order to get out here and make that shape. You see what I'm saying? So whatever we were doing, it was because we wanted to do it. And someone uncertain about something. Mm -hmm. Then they went to as though this is certainly what will happen right. on the other end of it. Right. Then they went back to it, but I'm not certain. I don't even think that it's... And that, to me, I, I couldn't follow it. I couldn't make sense of it. If things, he did, I'm things. going to do this. Right. But I don't think he did. I wouldn't have never put that out there like that by nobody who I had any kind of a relationship with. I'd have picked up the phone and said, hey, man, did you do this? I just appreciate the thought of, you know, getting the facts. Right. And not just playing in the circus. You know what I'm saying? It's like... If you want facts, you want something real, then you come and ask real questions, get real answers, From and, have a, and have a real understanding. Right. And if you're just throwing out shit, like, I don't know if it did or it didn't, but if and then, and people call me, and they're like, hey, man, what's up with this? I'm like, man, I don't know, I ain't seen it. And I read, like, the headline of it, but I don't even, I don't want to give it too much energy to be honest with you. Right. But what I can do is address the facts. I'm uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, the, the for one, the conversation came from a conversation I was having on my platform, Expedition. Because, but it came from a conversation that my partner and I were having. And that conversation was, hey, bro, if me and you catch a case together and I die before you, it's mine. Right. It's mine. He's like, nah, I can't do that. Yes, you can. It's mine. Why, don't, why can't you? Right. I don't understand it. Yeah, man, can't go to jail. I just don't understand. Right. You understand? I mean, and he said, nah, I can't do it. You know what I mean? He said, man, I can't really say nothing about anybody who do, but I can't do it. So off of that conversation, I created a set of circumstances. So basically what he's saying, that it's a made up question. The shit really never happened. Okay, T.I., let's go with that. But you as a guy that basically built his career on crime, is going to bring something up like that about snitching in these days and times. Now, do you think you need to be telling people to snitch after you said you done sold drugs and all these damn CDs? Now, we know expeditiously is your platform, but you don't think that you're giving niggas mixed signals? First, you glorify selling drugs. Now, you're telling people to go tell. I mean, hell, even with that gun charge you told on yourself, you took a plea deal. That's the reason why you only did one year in jail. Then you turned around and did that motherfucking Crime Stopper video. And you sell drugs and you the rubber band man. But T.I., in defense of you, I think Boosie already knew you was a snitch. He had already seen the Crime Stopper video. Why would Boosie still be around you after knowing you did a Crime Stopper video, whether you took a plea deal or not? But see, Boosie wanted to be friends with the police. But his uncle called him up and told him he couldn't be friends with you no more. Well, T.I., at least you know how that nigga feel about you. Like, subscribe, and share. Real talk, real shit, the podcast. People called me and was like, hey, man, what's up with this? I'm like, man, I don't know. I ain't seen it. And I read, like, the headline of it. I don't even, I don't want to give it too much energy to be honest with you.